Amen. The Apostle Paul said, having this hope, <laughs> we speak with great plainness of speech. That's right. God made me a plain, direct, fearless preacher. Mm -hmm. I fear nobody living. Amen. I done had contract after contract after contract put out on my head. Bounties put out on my head. Threatened to bomb the churches. Threatened to bomb my house. Threatened to murder my wife and all seven of my children. My Lord. If I don't stop preaching this truth, my Lord. you can kill everything that I love. Hallelujah. I can see them again. The scripture says they seek not go ahead, go ahead. deliverance go ahead. because they waited for a better resurrection. Better resurrection. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is the devil nation against Israel. Hallelujah. I don't fear a threat from nobody. Hallelujah. I was made a preacher. Hallelujah. Don't care who don't like it. Go ahead, go ahead. We're not dictated or owned by the government of America. Go ahead, brother. Government don't dictate what we preach. That's right. We won't bow to no government in the world. Go ahead. Go ahead. God go ahead. is our refuge. Amen. Go ahead. Everything in here who say you a Christian, if you bow your head and raise your hands, mm -hmm. you ain't got nothing. nothing. If you've been baptized using the title Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and not the name mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ, you ain't got nothing. That's right. You pray the sinner's prayer, the preacher cons you. That's right. Open the church doors and give you a home and then pass you on a yellow envelope, yeah. you've been conned. Oh, yes. You got a chance to get the right baptism while we're in town. Men and brethren, what shall we do? What shall they do, son? Then Peter said unto them, repent. I'm talking to you everything in here tonight. Amen. Everything in here tonight. That's right. Thank you for listening, <laughs> brothers and sisters. Anybody? want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ the right way. Stand on your feet. You can have it while we're in town. Anybody want to obey God? That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. Do we have any sisters here from any of the local temples from, of the baptismal committee? Raise your hand. Any sisters? Stand and go to the door over there right away. You sisters that are standing, follow those sisters right there. Any brothers that are here on the baptismal committee from any other temples, raise your hand. Stand. Brandon and my brother here. Go back there where Brother Young is. You men. Follow those brothers back there. Brother, show them where everything are. Brother Rollins, right away. Show them where things are. We thank God for this convention center. They gave us exposed to their facilities to use all the water we want. You follow them right there. Follow them right there. Brother James, follow them. Get ready to baptize them in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Spirit of God give utterance. God tell his apostles, I make you fishes of men. He said you catch men everywhere we go in the world. Doesn't matter where is that, if it's in Europe or Africa or any part. I'm glad God gave us a message. This message, we can baptize more people in one day than some men in 50 years. This is a good, strong Holy Ghost message. Brother Dancy, where's Brother Dancy? Brother Dancy outside? 
All right, tell him to go with them and show Brother James where everything is. All right, let's get them together and take them to be baptized tonight. Come back tomorrow. Whatever church you got tomorrow, don't go. Look, I'm the guest. You folk in South Carolina, you're the host. You can hang out with me for one more day. You can hang out with me one more day. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Let us all stand. I'm going to ask Brother Minister Gary to close us out in prayer. Great God and everlasting Father Jesus Christ, we thank you for your great power and divine understanding of all things. We thank you for bringing us here, Lord God. We thank you for your word that you have given unto us. Father God, we thank you for everyone that have gathered. Lord God, we thank you, O oh God, for the one whom you have sent in our midst, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the spirit that you have put in him, the spirit of yes. boldness, the uncompromising spirit. We thank you, Lord God, for the gifts that you have given unto him. Lord God, that he is able to reach the world and to pull the people in by thy great power. We pray you stand by his side. Father God, we ask you to encourage the hearts of the people. Help us not to give up, not to let go, but to hold to thine unchanging hand. Father, we pray for all the ministers that labor along with him. We pray, O oh God, that we might come with the same boldness, the same boldness, the same mind, Lord God, one mind to bring the people in your fear, Lord God, and to do your will. We pray for those that are discouraged, those that are about to let go. We pray you hold them by thine everlasting hand. We pray that thine spirit be upon them. We pray for those that are waiting on thine spirit. Let them not give up. But as your word says, tarry, wait on you until they be endued with power from on high. We thank you for choosing us, Lord God. We pray you keep us, Father, pure, spotless, working for you, that at the end of it all we might hear well done. Father, we can't thank you enough. We are grateful for your mercy that you have extended towards us. Continue to keep us humble and bold in you, O oh God. Help us that we might be stripped from all unrighteousness, that we might be the people that you are coming back for, having no spot or wrinkle. Father, continue to guide us, continue to keep us, and let your presence continue to be with us, Lord God. Help us to be sincere. Help us, Lord, to be true, O oh God, and to do what is commanded of you. Guide us, protect us. As we are about to separate one from the other, we ask that you give us mercy, journeying mercies to our separate abode, that we might go and come again if it is by your will. Do for us even more than we are able to ask of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, we say, Amen.